All right, this will probably be the last video I do on this uh, wobbling needle motor that I, I came up with. And um, I've gone to a kind of a real simplistic way of doing it. I took a piece of brass wire and just smashed it with a hammer against another hammer. It made this little uh, upper support by and bearing by drilling an eighth inch hole in that flattened out piece of brass wire. Then on the bottom I've just got a uh, Phillips machine screw that the needle runs in and uh, it's full of oil. That's one nice thing about using that method is you can fill it up with oil. And then I put some oil on the top here too and it's the eye of the needle that makes the uh, switching action and you have to uh, bend the wire around and then uh, move this uh, around uh, using gravity and it creates this motor and I'm not going to show a, a diagram there's not much to it the energy just goes through the coil and uh, the wobbling around of the needle the eye of the needle hitting that brass thing completes the circuit and that makes it go around. Now the LED is the inductive kickback on this coil. When the uh, switching action takes place the uh, magnetic field when it collapses shoots the flyback through the LED. The LED is basically backwards and that's how you can make an LED light up off a one and a half volt battery and this is how the jewel thieves work they use the inductive kickback of the coil in and out in the uh, jewel thief circuit but anyway i just wanted to complete this series on this wobbling needle motor and it uh, pretty interesting I, i've never seen it done before quite like this uh, and it was so simple take it apart and show it to you here uh, it's just a uh, machine screw, like I say, uh, fill up with oil, and then this flattened out piece of brass wire, heavy gauge wire, and then I drill a little eighth inch hole, and the rotor is just uh, a lid, jar lid, with a needle put through it, and then four neodymium magnets, all north facing, and then the eye of the needle is what wobbles around in that hole right there and uh, it's the wobbling action of the needle that causes the make and break and makes the motor run anyway that's the last in this series on the wobbling needle motor thanks for watching